happy wishes. It's Holly. Welcome to Dandelion Stitches, where we are random. <laughs> I think <laughs> I'm pretty random. Um, how are you? How is everything? If you could do me a humongous favor and subscribe and like and do all the, you know, stuff down there, that would be awesome. Also, uh, down below, below in the description box is the link to my Amazon store which has a lot of the things that I use on a daily basis sewing, um, which if you're gonna get them anyway, <clears throat> that's also helped me. But like, you know, don't go shopping unless you need it or want it. <clears throat> Excuse me, still the throat. Um, I had something exciting happen today. The mail came. Did anybody else read Fourth Wing? Am I the only one? This is the second one, Iron Flame. Could not have come at a better time. Going on the vacay. Nice big thick book to read. So excited. I just finished a couple of books that I just, I adored so much that I stretched them out absolutely as long as I possibly could until I finally just had to get to the end. And um, I'm gonna link those down below also. It's uh, One Dark Window and uh, Two Twisted Crowns. You have to be good with fantasy, kind of, or at least a magical kind of thing going on in there. But it's they're just, they're lovely, they're lovely books. So, um, <clears throat> you didn't come here to talk about books. You came here to see what was going on. So, I've got two pretty short things to open today. The first one is the um, Sower's Club. I'm pretty sure it's the Project Box. And then the two thimbles, just those little fat eights. And since we're not judging anymore, um, we can just flip through those fairly quickly. So let's go to the other camera. And uh, I'm, I'm always excited about Summer's Club because that project can often be fun. I have <clears throat> a new, um, a new something joining me in the sewing room. Um, it was one of the first things that I thought of when we were um, working on this room. I am not going to introduce you to her until I get back from vacation and I get to know her better. But today was my first day sitting with uh, the manual and I ended up making the project from um, Open gate. Actually, I made that one and a couple other ones. This is one of the other ones, but look, now I have, I have pretty tissue. So that was fun. So let's get into the, into the opening of the boxes. Sewers Club, can't say enough good things. These people, um, from my end of things, being a creator, they are excellent with communication. They are super friendly. Um, customer service, awesome. They, it's always good. So let's see what we have here. We have diagonal split zipper bags. Hey Holly, we're making two diagonal zipper bags that use each use half of the same zipper. We will be sewing with floral prints from the Thicket and Bramble collection by Jill. I'm not going to even try. Jill, you're cool. Your last name is, I can't even, um, for Fico. So as always, there is a video tutorial, which is, they go step by step. So, um, oh, those are cute. Look at that. I've never done a diagonal zipper like that. That should be fun. Okay, so uh, was there a, a was in the box? Um, okay, well, let's start with, we've got some um, uh, Guterman, yeah, Guterman thread. Kind of a nice, it's almost peach. It's got a little, it's got a little peach in it. We've got the zipper of which we are going to use for both. Uh, we will go, um, several of my videos I've showed you how to put the zipper head onto a zipper. We'll, we'll do that again. This is, 
Hmm. Okay. This is a needle holder pin cushion. Perfect for keeping track of your sewing machine needles. Okay. Okay. Oh, it's very squishy. Let's get this box out of the way so we're not. So, okay, I see. So when you're done using them, you stick them in the appropriate embroidery stretch, anti-glue, ballpoint leather, jeans, denim, quilting. So then you can go back and, and not waste needles. That's pretty nifty. I don't have one of those. Cool. I've not ever used this kind of needles either. I assume that they're a kind of needle. Yeah. But you know, you should never make assumptions. Okay, so there's some um, fleece. Feels like the kind that bonds. This is really sweet fabric. Oh, oh, it just got way sweeter. Oh, little foxies. Oh, foxies, a little mushrooms. We used to see a fox pretty often, but not for a long time. That is a lovely stripe. Oh, oh, oh. Now, now I think we got bun buns. Yup. We got upside down, right side up, sideways. All kinds of bunnies. Let's look at the picture again, just so we can get a... Okay, so it looks like it's they're striped. Right, so now we've got another blender-ish. One, two, three, four. Hmm. Well, I've got four. Should I have four? Okay, uh, the zipper, the fusible fleece, the fabric, the pin cushion, the zipper, the thread, which will be lovely on that, and this cool beans thing. Awesome, that's gonna be fun. Uh, if you do not subscribe to this particular box right now and you are interested, you can use the code Holly 12 for $12 off your first project box. And I will make sure that it is down in the description box if you forget. So that was fun. I like when, I like projects like that. Little, like, you don't have to think too hard. Just make it work. Okay. So this is, I have, I have already canceled this one. Um, not because I don't like the, th just, but um, we gotta make room for other things. And this, this was not my 100% favorite, which is, honestly is my own fault because I chose um, fat, no, did I use fat eight? I chose eight of a yards maybe. Or fat eights. <laughs> um, usually they send um, taffy. This time it's charm pops, watermelon, yucky, watermelon and uh, apple. Okay. Know some kids that would enjoy that. Okay. Let's see. The oh, these are lovely. I have to say, these are lovely. Two thimbles, greetings. We're glad you're here and part of our sampler club. Thank you for joining us. Um, this is Pam Buddha from Heart Spun Quilts was inspired by the archives at the old Sturbridge Village in Massachusetts for this collection. Sturbridge Floral Petites. We have selected our favorites from the group, a mix of rich tonal prints and petite florals. 
The eight fabrics in your packet are available at a 25% discount if you get this box. Um, okay, so let's just have a quick, these are, these are lovely. They really are very pretty. So these are all the same pattern. They're just in different colorways. And that one's kind of a wild card. Can you, I'm not sure, can you see these? They're, maybe I should hold them up because the prints are so tiny. Pretty. Same thing, but with some green. Blue. This is so pretty, so delicate. Um, just little vineys, little, little viney things. Same, 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 different color. And again. And then this one is a wild card too. Just kind of a random little print. Hmm. This, this is very cute. The light ones are my, strangely, are my favorite, my favorites. Usually I, I go for a darker, but these two, I like these two a lot. So let's go back to the other camera. That was pretty random, wasn't it? <laughs> We've talked books and we've looked at the sewers club and little reproduction prints and goodness a little bit of everything so um i'm anxious to do that sewers club i think that's gonna be fun they um they sometimes use techniques that i i've never done before so that i love those guys so um again thank you all so much for all of your kind words and um just generosity um to my daughter to myself to uh, grandbaby number seven um so many of you have already given things to her uh she and her husband are so inspired by uh your creativity and and what this group has become that they've decided that they're going to create their own thank you notes and um, they they FaceTimed me the other day and they wanted me to pick between, the each one of them had a design and they wanted me to pick which one. I, I, I couldn't, I mean, hers was like this, like an old time pram, but it had, it was made out of a quilt and it had one of the quilt squares had dandelions in it. And then Jake um, did this, swaddled baby in in a nest in a field of dandelions how do you you don't i i hope they do both because they're just um they're both creative people and <laughs> they just want they want the thank you notes to be um to be significant so uh i think that's it for today i hope you guys are all doing well i'm i'm good i'm as good as i can be they took me off the icky drug and I feel so much better. Um, you know, some, I gotta face that again when I get back from vacay, but um, for now, for now, I'm okay. So be well, be safe, and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.